be me in 2009 late August. Go to forest in northern Estonia to pick mushrooms and wild blueberries for pie. Usually it is filled with sound because the forests aren't really that big and you could definitely find a house by just walking in a random direction for like two hours. Wander off road where I parked my car. Suddenly see how everything went quiet, no wind, no birds, no leaves flying by. Instantly notice the silence and look around. Smell an incredibly weird smell, as if somebody is holding old coins under my nose. Immediately feel uncomfortable, like I was being watched but brush it off. Think that maybe there is a chemical plant somewhere burning, or maybe even radiation poisoning. Nope the fuck out of there. Years later discover slash x and a lot of people associate this exact cetacean with skinwalker encounters. Still get made fun of till this day for telling people about this story. I doubt that it was skinwalker, but it spooks me to this day thinking that it could have been. Ah good, then you know how it looks like. This was in Tarta though. And just to clear it up, I'm not from Estonia, so I don't speak the language relevant. Me and three friends decided to visit a Soviet airfield in the middle of nowhere. Thoughts if I remember it correctly. It was April this year at around 16-17, It's getting pretty dark and it snowed. But we all had headlamps and flashlights. We parked our car at a graven road and jumped out. We reached what they described as officer offices. It was like maybe 6-7 small houses and a flat yard. And decided to paint in there. After that we decided to go into the woods to try and locate the hangar. The place was pretty ear. I joked with my friend that this was probably Goldman's favorite place. Maybe one kilometer into the woods we saw a flashlight to our right. It was probably 1.5 kilometers away from us. My friend and I got a little paranoid since we had a lot of paint with us. We decided to put out our flashlight and wait for a while in case of security and decided to go the opposite side from the source of light. We walked slowly away and heard branches snap behind us. We stopped and looked behind us. We could see that the light appeared to be a headlamp according to the height of the source. Me and my friend is 1.90 centimeters and 1.98. Our other friends are something like 1.50-1.60 or something. I said it was probably a girl or a really small guy. We should probably say something. The light moved towards us and we were maybe 50-100 meters from the clearing. We stopped and one of our friends decided to shout something in Estonian to the person. The light stopped and it were silent for a minute, before it shouted something really strange sound. Two days before we had a problem, where a drunk Russian man decided to stand up in the middle of a field, 10 meters in front of us and said stuff like, You are going to die, fuck off, I know some Russian, it was funny love. The thing in the forest wasn't Russian and neither Estonian. Estonia, 2 a.m., country road, driving home. Friend is driving, I'm in the passenger seat. It's pitch black outside, friend is driving slower than the speed limit because the roads were all curvy and shit. We're talking, listening to music. Suddenly something like a black veil shadow sweeps over the car, on the passenger side. It literally looked like a giant veil but made of vapor, it didn't have form or substance, at least one meter across. Both of us saw it, we stopped talking simultaneously. Silence for a few seconds. Did you see that? We both saw it. I looked back, didn't see a thing. We still don't know what the hell that was. I probably got a better glimpse because it was on my side of the car, but I can't tell you what I saw. The weather was clear, there was no fog and we were driving slowly. It literally felt like we drove through something. So, I guess I've had a bump in with a skinwalker. Be around 15-16. Live in Estonia, Eastern Europe, 
some up we're Nordic, whatever. Somewhere in August, go to a hunting cabin with some friends to drink like only Estonian teens drink. There was seven of us. Me, my brother S, 18, friend R, 15, male, friend M, 17, male, friend G, 16, male, friend P, 20, female, friend D, 15, female. Nearest house has to be like 10-15 kilometers away. Middle of the forest, one roomed cabin, two bunk beds, table, fireplace. We got there with Miss Carr at around 2000. All males have been in different scout-like and paramilitaristic organizations. At around 0000, my brother and friend M decide to go looking for more firewood for the fireplace. Everyone is getting considerably tipsy at this point. Yeah fuck it, go get some. For some reason me and Pete are sitting under the table, drinking vodka, kinda feeling her up. In for lol 15 yo feeling up 20 yo, you can all suck it. 10 minutes later, hear some weird noises around the cabin, like movement. Probably S and M coming back, no pun intended. 5 more minutes pass, still noises. Me and G grab a flashlight to check some shit out, fucking badass foresters like we were. Step out the door, no sound. Smells like shit though, WTF. Shine the light around. As the light falls on the pathway that leads to the cabin, we see a dark figure just beyond the light's reach. It's a fucking fox, or no, too big, a dog. I say. No, that's a fucking human. S is playing pranks as usual. My brother always liked to scare people. Nah man, M wouldn't fuck around like that. M was a pretty straightforward guy, never fucked around, rarely made a joke, never would have fucked with drunk people's minds in the woods. Ask for second and third opinion from R and P, E is a bit furt and doesn't want to look out of the door. R says it looked like a sitting dog, P thinks it's a crouching person. We're all young, like fuck we're going closer to check it out. Close the door, arm oneself with whatever one can find. I'm cluthing an old frying pan that some hunters had left there. Door closes, noises continue. Now I forgot to mention, the cabin had one window at one end of the cabin. Cabin was about 4x7m. Window was at the far end of the cabin, about 2 meters wide, 1 meter high. Window has two sections, one is about 1,5 meters wide, the other is, obviously, smaller. Smaller window frame comes out of the wall to let in air and etc. Dark as fuck outside, shining the light through the window doesn't do anything, windows are way too dirty. All of the sudden hear steps right behind the door, some voice. Bro and M step in, carrying shitloads of firewood. You motherfuckers. You scared the shit out of us. That was a good one. W we almost believed it cause we never thought M would do it. Puzzled looks on both their faces. Do what? My bro asks. We explain the situation. Da fuck, there was nothing on the trail. We just came that way. And what smell? You guys need to lay off the drink. As soon as they close the door, noises outside continue. Open the door. Get on the floor, peek from under the door, open door kinda covered the view to the track. Holy shit, there's a dog on the trail. My brother is white of face. M checks shit out, says it's a man. Once again, we argue, close door, arm, etc. Everyone is also trying to cover up their fear with booze. Back under the table, no feeling up goodness anymore. He is pretty much crying on one of the beds. Me, my bro, M and R devise a plan to throw their ASAP. Plan, S and M go to the car with one flashlight. We shall scare away whatever the fuck is on the trail by chucking a frying pan at it. Once at the car, they start it. Car is about 300 meters away. When the others hear the car, we rush to it with other lamps, three in total, and armed with whatever we could find, thus making a swift getaway. Frying pan gets chucked, flashlight shown at the path, it's clear, two running guys start heading off. 
Close the door. No sound this time. Back under the table with P. Still no feel up goodness. Drinking vodka. Getting ready for upcoming sprint. Five minutes pass. Nothing happened. Suddenly, the smaller part of the window flies out of the frame. It doesn't fall. It lands almost at the other end of the cabin. Out fear, panic, alcohol, adrenaline and god knows what madness, me, RMG run the fuck out of the cabin, half circle it to the window. Fucking smells like shit. Can't see anything, flashlights don't show anything. Hear a weird ass noise coming from the woods, like, 100 meters away or so. Screech, scream, squeal. Don't know how to call it, perhaps a combination of all. Nope dot in correct file format. Back inside, close the door, shiver, he is now positively crying, everyone else is just shitting bricks and all sorts of masonry. Still no car sound. Do you think whatever the fuck it was got sand? P asks. Nobody answers. Suddenly, behind the door, running footsteps. Fucking shit let us in. Fuck. I hear my brother, scared to fucking death. I let them in. WTF moment for everyone. Why didn't you start the car? It wouldn't start, someone had cut the battery wires. Also, we found a Heraclean plant on the driver's seat. I know quite a bit about the fauna and flora around that area, I know for a fact, that the closest place to find that plant would have been over 10 kilometers away. Movement outside. Nobody dares to go anywhere anymore. Every once in a while we check outside and see the dog man on the track. Nobody sleeps, we wait for the morning huddled up in groups. At around 0600, no more movement is heard. We get the fuck out of Dodge on foot at around 0800, leaving the car to be picked up several days later. Not a shocking end and it's not like all the other stories, but I can find similarities. TTT that's all, folks, 